and welcome to the OWC instructional series of installation videos. In this installment, we will be installing an OWC data doubler in a plastic unibody MacBook. We have already powered down, unplugged, and placed our MacBook on a soft, static-free workspace. To begin, close and turn your MacBook over so that the bottom is facing up. There are a total of eight Phillips screws that we need to remove on the bottom of the MacBook. Begin by removing the top four. Now remove the bottom four Phillips screws. Once all eight screws have been removed, Lift up on the bottom of the MacBook case, pull it free, and set it aside. The optical drive is located here. Unplug the SATA connector from the motherboard by using your nylon pry tool to gently pull it free. Remove this Phillips screw. Next we need to remove these four small Phillips screws. Now remove these four screws using your Torx T8 screwdriver. With all eight screws removed, you can now remove this bracket and set it aside. Next, remove this Phillips screw. There is a hidden Phillips screw here that we need to remove. Now remove this Phillips screw. The last Phillips screw we need to remove is located here. Use your nylon pry tool to slightly lift one end of the optical drive. Then slide it out of the MacBook, making sure not to pull or damage any wires or cables as you do so. We need to reuse both the bracket and SATA connector from our old optical drive on our new OWC data doubler. Begin by gently pulling the SATA connector free. To remove the bracket, remove the two Phillips screws holding it in place. The OWC data doubler can use any 2.5 inch SATA hard disk drive. We will use the much faster and reliable OWC Mercury Extreme SSD. The easiest way to install the SSD drive is to lay the data doubler like this. Align the SATA connectors and push the connectors together. Use the larger black Phillips screws that came with the data doubler to secure the drive in place here. We need to reuse both the bracket and SATA connector from our old optical drive on our new OWC data doubler. Slide the OWC data doubler in place, making sure that there are no wires or cables underneath and that the OWC data doubler is laying flat. Use one of the small silver Phillips screws that ship with the data doubler here. Use the original Phillips screw here. Install the hidden Phillips screw back in this location. Again using one of the small silver Phillips screws that shipped with the data doubler, screw it in here. Replace this Phillips screw. Now plug in the SATA connector. Make sure there are no wires in the way and set this bracket back in place. Replace the four Phillips screws. Now replace the four Torx T8 screws. Align the bottom of the MacBook cover in place and push here until it locks in. Now replace all eight Phillips screws.
Finally, turn your MacBook over, open it up, turn it on, and start enjoying your OWC Data Doubler.